All right, so now you guys should see a icon on your desktop that says Git Bash. Uh, let me grab it for you so you can see it. Right here, you should have this icon on your desktop. And this basically gives us a command line or a shell, um, just like the, the, the uh, Rails installer gave us. And we're going to use this instead from now on. So it should look something like this. Okay, now you can see by default uh, the PC I'm on is named Monster, so that's why it says my name and then Monster. Yours will say something different, whatever your computer is called. Uh, and by default, they put us in the user directory, our users directory, which is not where we want to be. We want to be in our sites directory and then in our app. So let's just, we'll change directory to the C drive and then we'll change to well I guess you could have all done all this in one shot but now we're in this uh, C sites with a capital S alright so now if we list the files you'll see our folders there our my Ruby blog folder let's just switch to that and then if we list the files it's all of it's our entire app so this is the folder where we want to be okay um, so the next thing I want to do and you can also see these files in your Windows Explorer just go to uh, my computer and then the C drive sites my Ruby blog so this is this so we're in the right directory now what we want to do next is remember I told you um, SQL Lite 3 is what comes as a database by default with with any Rails installation. Um, Heroku does not support that that SQL Lite 3 database, so we need to configure our app to use Postgres. So we want to go to config, and I, we could do this in the command line, but uh, this is just a lot easier for us. So we're just going to use the Windows Explorer. If you want to get really geeky, you can do the same thing in the command line. So we want to click on this database.yml file, and you can see by default we have the SQLite, SQLite 3 um, database adapter. We want to change this to PostgreSQL. Okay, and we want to change the database name to uh, what do we call um, my Ruby blog yeah and you should also have um, your PostgreSQL database running and this is it right here my Ruby blog this is the database and remember that we created a user uh, a username well, it created one for us, which is right here, Postgres. And then we have, we have to enter our password. This is my password. Okay, and, okay, that looks good. We're gonna, now we have th three different versions we can have for our site, development, test, and production. Um, I'm just gonna use the same for each one so just make them all the same for now we can worry about that later testing and stuff okay so these are all the exact same so now we want to save the file okay and the next thing we want to do is we want to install the um, I talked about gems a little bit uh, Ruby gems is just a gem is like a prepackaged uh, module kind of just a bunch of uh, a bunch of Ruby code all wrapped up in a gem to that we can easily install and uninstall and by default we have the SQL Lite gem installed uh, and and it's working in the gem file which I'll show you in a minute but we want to install the P it the uh, Postgres gem which is just PG so we want to do gem install pg 
and this will allow us to use Postgre database uh, SQL so that's installed now the next thing we want to do is we want to go over to the root of our app and click on the gem file file not the lock file just the gem file and then I'm just gonna open this up in notepad plus plus but you can use any text editor and you'll see here we have gem SQLite 3 we want to actually comment that out and under it we want to do gem PG and then save it okay so we disabled the SQLite gem and now the last thing you want to do before we get into Heroku is you want to do a bundle install which will go over the Ruby all the Ruby gems again okay I think that's all we need to do so let's try to run our server now with rails s alright so now our server is running so we want to put this action this shell to the edge uh, um, to the edge to the side and then open up a new one and again it's the git bash icon and you're gonna have to go back into our app our app folder so do CD capital C uh, colon backslash sites with a capital S my Ruby blog. What? Huh. All right, and just do just do CD C sites. Huh. I don't know what's going on here. C drive and then in sites. All right. And then just change to uh, my Ruby blog. All right. And then we want to. St we're going to start the Heroku. We're going to install Heroku. One second. We're going to install the Heroku gem. So gem install Heroku. I'm probably going to end up splitting this video into two parts because um, it's getting really long. Uh, Alright, so the Heroku gems installed. Now just run another bundle install. Alright, so now we should be able to type uh, Heroku and then version. Alright, so it's installed. Now what we want to do is we want to start doing some git commands alright so remember the first thing I told you to do that we need to do is git init so what this did is it initialized the the applic the folder we're in it initialized it as a repository so the next thing we want to do is add we want to do git add and we want to use we want to put all of our files so we want to do put a, a dot so this added everything. Uh, if you're seeing this, don't never mind this. It's not important right now. Um, so after we add, one second, we want to do a commit. So git commit, and we want to do. We don't want to go to the the comment screen. So put an M option on there, and then just write you can put anything in here any kind of comment I'm just gonna say uh, initial commit alright so now we should be able to log into Heroku Heroku login and then use the email address
and then your password. And if you get uh, some kind of some kind of question about keys, about if you want to generate a key, an SSH key, just type in Y, yes, and then that should just give you a set of keys, uh, and it should authorize it. So, um, and the next thing we want to do is a Heroku create. So we'll create the Heroku app. Um, so you can see this is the name it gave us nameless stream 1006 that's the that's the name that they gave us we can change that later on um, the next thing we want to do finally is push our app to the server because as of now it's in that stat uh, middle stage so we do that with git um, push Heroku master. The master is the branch, the main branch. Okay, and we get this message that says the authenticity of host Heroku.com can't be established. You get this with any any remote connection, so just type in yes and it will add it. Oh, alright, I'm getting this message permission denied public key. Uh, you need a key to, to communicate back and forth from the, the server. Um, if this this might have not happen to you, uh, if it's asking you to create a new one, then click yes, create a new one. Um, if it's doing what it's doing to me and not doing anything, just telling you it doesn't exist, then try to do Heroku um, keys and then colon and then add. So mine says could not find an existing public key would you like to generate one so we want to do yes and it all right so it just generated a new key for us so now let's try it again get push Heroku master sounds like some kind of samurai okay And I'll go through this rigmarole. This takes about a minute and a half, two minutes, if that. After this is done, if it if it's successful, we should be able to visit our app uh, live on the web through Heroku through a Heroku URL. Okay, writing database to okay. Looks like it read our database, our Postgres database. I mean, it takes it so takes this long to have our initial upload, but once we're we're developing and we're pushing just parts of files it's not going to take that long all right so you can see it, it was successful and the git path is git at heroku.com nameless stream which is this is the name of our app um, on the remote server nameless stream 1006.git so let's go back to heroku in the browser And 
log in if you're not already logged in. And remember this morning reaches, this is a, a different app, so pay no attention to that. Uh, this is our app in your, I forgot to mention that yours, your name is gonna be different than this. Um, so I don't even know why I didn't even think of that. So don't look for this, just know that your app is going to be named something like this and you'll see it in this in this back end here so if we go to settings um, and we go down to domains and here's our, our official URL for this app so let's click on that and cross our fingers and there it is so now we can well I can enter this URL to go to my app and as we develop on our local machine um, we'll make the commits and then push it to the, U the remote server and it'll show up here. So um, yeah, I mean that's what we're, we're done. We deployed the app using Heroku and we'll just update as we go along. So um, <laughs> thanks for sticking with me and I'll uh, see you in the next video.